In this short movie, I'll show you three improvements to the Hull Planarize tool. We tend to want to have planarize hulls when we're working towards A-class surface quality, and we want maximum control over the flow of hull lines. So on this car roof, for example, we really want to avoid zigzags like this between our control points. So this is where we would typically use the Planarize Hull tool on the Surface Edit menu. And I'll work on all the U-hulls to start with, and use the Best Fit option. And we get the same alignment of hulls as we did before. But now the check deviation measure is shown on the actual surface, instead of on the prompt line. And it appears at the location of the maximum deviation. The second improvement is the addition of a new proxy display, which shows the original hull layout in green. And this lets you compare the flattened hull to the original, and choose whether to keep the changes or do an undo which puts the control points back to their original position. The third and most significant improvement is taking hulls on different surfaces and flattening them to a single plane. Here I have three surfaces for the full roof. And to make the hull directions clearer, I've used the new Draw Style option to show the V-hulls as dotted. And I also now have the option to change the user colours for hulls too, to make it even clearer. So now you can see that my U and V surface directions aren't aligned on the different surfaces and that there are breaks in the flow of the hulls here. But neither of these are an issue as the planarize hull tool will now align hulls across these surface boundaries. So I'll show it on these outer hulls and I'll switch to an orthographic view. And on the planarize hull tool I'll choose view based as that will give me a large movement that will be easy to see. I'll need to choose the single hull mode as this is the only mode that allows this coordination across different surfaces. The first plane arise is the same as before, creating a plane between the ends of the hull. And then if I use the shift key I can select a second hull and now both are flattened to a new plane between both surfaces. And if I add another hull then all three hulls are planarized to another new plane between the ends of all three surfaces. So that's given me quite an extreme change if I compare it to the green proxy lines, which is not really what I want. So now I can undo each step one by one. In practice I'd probably choose a better view, or choose the best fit option to achieve the minimum deviation. And because hulls only get planarized together if I use the shift key, I can work quickly when wanting to do a full tidy up of my surface. So the updated hull planarize tool now shows the deviation measure on the model and displays a proxy view to compare the original and the planarized hull layout. And in single mode, it can be used to work on a flow of hulls across many different surfaces using the shift key. 